you want to create cool projection effects on the outside or the inside of your house, then stick around. Because today, I'm going to be unboxing and trying out the new Alumabot projection mapping system. And I'm pretty excited to open this up because it boasts simple projection mapping using a mobile phone. So let's open this up and get things started. And ah, I like that little magnetic clasp on the top there. And here is everything you get inside. So I've got a little Alumabot sticker here. And I've got Alumabot itself. So this is the device we're going to be using. Uh, power for that device, obviously, which is what you're going to need. And um, your HDMI cable. There's detailed instructions here underneath the lid to tell you everything you need to do to get started. And so the first thing we need to do is download the app. We scan the QR code, which takes us right to the link to download the app. Once it's downloaded, there are a few screens telling us a little bit about a Lumabot and what to expect from it. And then we're asked to create an account. My account details are blurred out here to protect the innocent. So now I've installed the app here, what I need to do is connect to this Illumabot. And I'm going to do it inside right now just to get the setup or at least the connection before I move outside to test it out on the house. You'll find the power connector here next to the HDMI output. Then I get to enjoy peeling off the plastic. Some lights start flashing to indicate that everything's working properly. And then the Illumabot wants to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now it's connected, I return back to the app to connect the Illumabot by clicking Find Nearby Illumabots. It very quickly finds it and then asks me to name the location the Illumabot is in. I'm going to call it Creative Geekery because, well, that's the name of this channel. And with that done, it's time to head outside to do the next step, which is setting up the projector. Okay, everything's set up outside. Put a coat on because it's getting a bit chilly out here. And now it's time to do the initial setup. My Illumabot is connected to the HDMI cable and the projector is facing the garage. The Illumabot just takes a moment to update the resolution based on the projector. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get the projector to project a plain white image using the app. I just select the white box here, labeled white, and I should now see that on my house. So funny, you can still see the uh, radioactive symbols on the door from our Halloween walkthrough. Oh well, forget about that for now. Because, you know, I'm a busy man. I've got things to do. I've got an Illumabot to set up. Focus, people. Now we're going to go to step two of setting up the Illumabot, which is to take a photo of your house. The app gives you clear instructions on where to place your camera in order to get the best shot. That is my photo. Now I'm going to go to step three of the setup, which is to create a mask. I'm going to use the add area function here to figure out where the mask should be. And it does a pretty good job of identifying the projected area of the house. Then I go into paint mode to adjust the fine details of the mask. Essentially, all you're doing here is making sure that the green area in the image fully represents the area where you want to see projection on your house. After taking a lot of time to cut out all of the windows, which I realize later I didn't actually need to do, we're ready to move on to the next and final step. This step takes a little bit of patience and perseverance to get right. But all you're doing here is moving the corners of the original image you took and trying to line up that image with the actual house in real life. This step ensures that the mapping that the app will do actually maps correctly to the house itself. Okay, so that corner pinning, a little bit of work, but I think it's pretty much there. So now, I'm going to try my first prompt, see what happens. I started by using the surprise me button to see what image would be created. And it came up with this Santa's sack with toys streaming out of it. 
but I wanted to really test this projection mapping software's ability to bring a physical object to life. So I prompted it to open my garage door and show something cool inside. So that initial prompt actually turned out really cool. Um, it animated the garage door opening and uh, like frosty wind coming out of it, which is really cool. And I'm thinking now because I matted out each of those garage door windows, it's not actually projecting on them. But if I actually put white card or something on the inside of those and then had it do the projection of the garage door opening, that would be pretty cool. I'm quite impressed with that initial prompt. That's pretty fun. Let's try some more. So we've just put white paper on the backs of all of these windows and I've remasked this. So these black holes will be there in the original picture that I used for the prompt, but they won't be there in the mat. So what that should mean is with the next prompt I've created, we should get a very cool effect. Creating a new prompt for the garage door to open and show Santa's sleigh inside worked beautifully with the new setup. And after trying a couple of other garage door related prompts, this gave me an idea. So I grabbed a mini projector, pointed it at a corner of my dining room, created a new location and a new mat, and did a little bit of corner pinning, and then created a new prompt. And the results are pretty cool, as you can see. I tried three different prompts, all with the door opening behind this Christmas tree and stuff flooding out. and. All of them have turned out really well. I think this is a really fun tool for you to use either outside or inside to create some pretty amazing effects. If you're interested in creating projection magic, why not check out the Illumabot website? And links for everything that I've used in this video, as usual, are in the description below.